punishing Lynn. Lynn Stewart, the activist lawyer, was recently sentenced to 10 years in prison. This outstanding lawyer, a 70-year-old grandmother, who's facing the serious threat of breast cancer, was originally sentenced to two years and four months, but the Federal Appeals Court apparently felt that wasn't enough. The same appeals court that traditionally reverses the convictions of cops who torture or kill black citizens, who traditionally rely on the judgments of the trial judges, reversed Stewart's sentence as not tough enough. So much for tradition. For Lynn's tradition wasn't that of the Tony tie and tails law firms of Manhattan. She didn't represent the rich, the powerful, the well-heeled. She represented the poor, the oppressed, the dispossessed, the black, the Latino, the Arab, the damned, those whom Franz Fanon called the wretched of the earth. A juxtaposition. Many, many lawyers in the Office of Legal Counsel, in the White House, in the CIA, and the Defense Department violated criminal laws the military code, the Geneva Conventions, and the Convention Against Torture to aid and abet violations of law and the Constitution for years. Guess how many of them face trial? Guess how many of them will in future? How many of them will ever face prison? None, none, and none. For their crimes were on behalf of the powerful, hence their immunity. Or consider what is known in international law as the supreme crime. Wars of aggression. Iraq will be a basket case for generations, thanks to U.S. arrogance and greed. Will anybody be brought to book for this crime that shattered a nation, that sent millions into exile, and killed perhaps a million men, women, and children? Don't hold your breath. There are still black sites, secret prisons, where tortures happen daily. There are still extraordinary renditions, clear violations of the Convention Against Torture. But politicians are doing it, not to protect the nation, but to secure elections, torture for votes. And a seven-year-old grandmother, a lawyer, is sent to prison for 10 years for violating a prison rule that is an unconstitutional relic of the so-called war on terror. This is what an empire in decline looks like. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.